With the 2000 Olympics rapidly approaching, facilities like this all around the world are teaming with young gymnasts who hope to someday represent their country in the Olympic Games. Hi everyone, I'm Bart Conner and welcome to the Junior European Championships. It's common knowledge in the gymnastics community, if you want to look for the next great superstar of women's gymnastics, you go to the Junior Europeans. For example, it was 23 years ago when at the European Championships a young Romanian gymnast was discovered. She went on to score the first perfect 10 in Olympic competition and revolutionized the sport. Her name is, of course, Nadia Comaneci. And Nadia, today we are husband and wife, and she joins us as an expert commentator. Nadia, how important was that 1975 European Championship in your career? The European Championship was very important for me. It was my debut, and one year later I went on and competed in 1976 Olympic Games. It was also important because I had a chance to compete against my hero from former Soviet Union, Ludmila Turisheva. Now, you were just 13 years old at the time. They only had senior championships. Then in 1978, they created the junior championships. This year, you have to be under 16 years old to compete in this junior competition, which brings us to Anna Kovalyova from Russia. She's very impressive, isn't she? And she's very good and so much fun to watch her. She has very unusual routines, not like the old stuff that you see gymnasts doing today. Now let's talk about some of the other competitors. The Ukrainian junior team has looked very impressive here, as well as the Romanians. Yes, and I'm very impressed with the Ukrainian team. And watch for Olga Rushupkina. She's very good gymnast, and she's also very complete. She's good at all four events. What about yeah. the Romanians? The two Andreas are very good, the Raducan and Isarescu, and especially Isarescu. Not only she's a very good gymnast, but she also is coming from the Nadia Comunist Gymnastics School in Romania. So let's go now to the St. Petersburg Sport and Concert Complex in St. Petersburg, Russia, for the Junior European Championships Women's All-Around Final.
Many of her family and friends came to cheer her on. And the reason this is a high value of this vault is because she's trying to keep her body straight on the entire vault. And she's doing a very good job. Just a slight break on the f first contact to the horse. 9.525, the score for her first vault. She lives now and trains in Moscow at their national training center, Krugloya. Second vault. And that was a better vault. Nice landing. Her form was better. The landing, as you said, almost perfect. Let's take a look at how clean her technique is in the air. Biting her lips probably helps a little. <laughs> really nice walk. Look how nice she gets into the horse. She gets pretty high. And she really knows where she lands. 9.637 is the score for her, her average 9581. As we quickly now go over to the balance beam. This is Nelly Ramasami from France. The way she moves, how aggressive she gets into her tumbling. Watch her first pass here. Really nice and clean. She lives and trains in Marseille now. Her original coaches were Franck and Veronique Legras. Now she works with the national coaches, the Chinese coaches who are working with the French national team, Lin Xuan and Shi Mao. You can see she has very precise technique. I think she has terrific potential. And she looks very comfortable with this event. She did have some problems, but whoop, just a little here. You see that the stands are almost empty. It's disappointing for the athletes, but here in Russia, they've transformed to a free market economy and people are having difficult time putting food on the table, let alone the money to pay for tickets to come to a gymnastics event. It's unfortunate for the athletes because these are some of the best in the world. Wow, that was a lot of power for this dismount. Maybe in the future she has potential to add a twist to this. Well done for Nelly Ramasami. Let's take a look at the replay of this move. It's called a Shushunova, Nadia, named after Yelena Shushunova, who performed a move similar to this on the floor. This on the balance beam, of course. Exactly. Watch how high she goes, almost as tall as she is. Nice work, and she loops underneath the beam. Cleanly done. Score 9.2 for Ramasami. We'll turn our attention now to the uneven bars from Ukraine. This is Olga Rashupkina, one of the favorites here today. And boy, this is just a spectacular event for her. Every event is so spectacular for her because she's complete, as I said at the beginning of this competition. Look at the variety of skills she does. No breaks yet. Haven't seen in one. She's very clean, aggressive, isn't she? Quick. She is very quick. Oh, just a little one there, but only if you're a bad judge, you can see it. <laughs> there comes the dismount. Very well done. Very well done. Nice job. She'll get a good score there. As you mentioned, she's a very balanced athlete, and you can't help but notice the resemblance to Lilia Potkopayev, a big all-around champion from 1996. A lot of people call her Little Lilia. But Kopaeva is her hero. And watch the beautiful technique she has. A little bit different than everybody is doing at this giant. The score, 9.687. So let's take a look at the standings after the first rotation. Rashupkina in the lead, Isarescu of Romania second, Kovalyova of Russia in third. St. Petersburg, Russia. Masterfully designed by Peter the Great as Russia's window to the west.
Action continues here at the Junior European Championships in the second rotation. This is Yelena Olivetti from Italy. A surprise here. They were third place in the team competition. They even beat Russia. She's great on the floor. And she's very powerful. Look at this triple twist. I sure like her presentation, Nadia. The dance moves. I really think she moves very nice. And uh, although she didn't look that she's powerful, she did that wonderful triple twist. And look at her, her skills, how they flow. And it's very good choreography for her. It's interesting when you see a team like Italy that hasn't been a contender in major competitions for a long time, and all of a sudden they're really good. You start looking around, and usually you find a Chinese or a Russian or a Romanian coach who moved to that country and really brought up the level of their program. And this is what happens here, because her coach is a Romanian. She moved to Italy, and she was a former national rhythmic gymnast. Rodica Demetrescu is her name. Then that's her last pass. And it looks like a rhythmic final. <laughs> <laughs> nice presentation for Olivetti. The gymnasts have to show tumbling forward like this and tumbling backward. Well done. We go quickly now over to the uneven bars. This is Anna Kovalyova from Russia. This is an event where she shows some really unique combinations, Nadia. That's a very good event for her. She also has a lot of variety of skills. The score over on the floor for Olivetti a 9.237. There was nice transition there from the high bar to the low bar. She probably has a little pressure on her. Well, there's oh. an unusual dismount. That was an oldies. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice to see. That move was done maybe 30 years ago, but she's bringing back some of the classics. I guess in the big picture, she'll have to add a more difficult dismount to get a big score. But it was a great routine for her. 9.55, the score for Kovalyova on the bars. So she's having a great day so far. We turn our attention now to Russia's other finalist here, Anastasia Kolesnikova. She was ninth in the all-around in the preliminaries. She's just 13 years old. And she has a lot of power for a little gymnast. No, oh, she barely made that triple twist around. She has a great personality. She really shows that she likes to dance. She doesn't have quite the power that some of the other more mature gymnasts do here. She'll probably develop that, but she does have nice style and technique. Yes, and I really like that she goes for the hard moves. She didn't quite make that double pike. Here's a delightful presentation showing her kind of playfulness in her routine. Yeah, like she likes to play with the people and she likes to play with the judges. <laughs> Last tumbling pass. Well, I guess she was happy about this routine. Lovely finish. As we said, she'll probably need to add a little more difficulty into those tumbling runs to get a huge score. And this is a full twist into a triple twist. And you can see here, this is where she's lacking a little power. The stronger gymnast would make that triple twist all the way around, but this is where she shines. Her presentation is playful, lovely, and well choreographed. Her score an 8.9. And speaking of choreography, Svetlana Boginskaya, a three-time European champion, once as a junior, twice as a senior, went on to win 14 World and Olympic medals, nine of them gold.
the first rotation here at the Junior European Championships, Olga Rashupkina of Ukraine. This is her favorite event, the balance beam. This is a great event for her. You can see the variety of skills here. This is an unusual pass. Very nice done. 9.487 was her score in the prelim, so she's capable of a big score here. Interesting story about her, her parents signed her up to gymnastics because she was sickly as a child. They thought it would improve her health. Boy, she's come a long way, and what a spectacular, intense athlete she is. I like how she moves. She really moves like a mature gymnast, not like a junior gymnast. She was really very comfortable on this apparatus. This is an unusual combination, the quarter turn, front aerial with a quarter turn. You know, she just takes these moves from her bag of knowledge and just put it in the routine. A ah, little wobble there. You hear the announcer in the background, occasional music and applause in the background. All four events are going on simultaneously in this all-around competition. A nice finish for her. She really wanted to stick that landing, but just a little step. And this is a gainer into a layout. Very nicely done. Over now to the vault. This is Esther Moya, another 13-year-old competing here. This will be her second vault. Her first vault scored 9325. This is a terrific vault because it starts at a 99 start value. It was popularized by Svetlana Horkina, the world champion. That's a great advantage for her. Nice job. She is really powerful. The score, by the way, back over on the balance beam for Rashupkina, a 9.637. So she's having a great day. Let's look at this complicated vault one more time. She gets quick into the horse. Look how high she goes. Very good landing. 9.412, the score for that vault, average 9.368. That'll help her in the all-around. Now to the uneven bars. This is Andrea Raducan. She scored only a 9.05 in the preliminary, so this is clearly not her best event, Nadia. Yes, it's not her best, and she doesn't favor that much this event, but she's doing a pretty good job. Slight break of form there. Whoop, she doesn't know where she want to go there, but... <laughs> you can see improvement on her bar routine. Nice combination. Ooh, that's not my favorite this month. It's very hard to land. Now, she doesn't show some of the invert giant swings and some of the more complicated release moves that we're seeing from some of the better gymnasts here on the bars. Here is the break. You can see the legs apart. And this is where she's not sure. And here comes the dismount. If she would add it in half turn, it would be easier for her to land. Now over to the balance beam. This is Andrea Isorescu. Second place after the first rotation. And Nadia, this is a great event for her. I think she really favored this event. She feels very comfortable on the beam. There comes the first pass. It's a layout. Very solid. The score over on the uneven bars for Radu Khan, a 9.037. She moves very nice. I like that, in general, the Romanians at this apparatus have a very good rhythm. That's a lot of noise from a little gymnast. <laughs> the judges require the gymnast to work down low on the beam where their hips are near the beam like that. They also require full turns acrobatic movements as well as dance movements.
So far, very solid in this performance. It could get a good score if she could land this dismount well. Oh, very good execution. I really like her. She did a great job. So you hear the march music. The athletes will march to the third rotation as we take a look once again at some of these acrobatic movements. This is the layout position, was almost in layout position. And at this mod, a lot of power. Just one little step at the end. 9.612 the score for Isarescu. So let's take a look at our standings. Rashukina in the lead, Isarescu second, Kovalyova third. In the third rotation here in St. Petersburg, the Junior European Championships continues. We go now to the balance beam. Anna Kovalyova happens to be the Russian national champion. Even though vault is her best and favorite event, she does very well here. Very solid routine she has here on the balance beam. Watch for this move she's doing right now. Wow. Nice combination, a handspring to a front somersault. Very difficult. And then she goes backwards now. Even the little things are so well done. The Shushunova three quarters. Her longtime coach, Lena Mashinskaya, coached her here in the St. Petersburg area. Now she lives in Moscow, and she's spending more and more time up there at their national training center and being attended to by Leonid Arkayev, the president of Russian gymnastics and the head coach. She also has a variety of skills. She's a little nervous. Certainly would try to avenge the Russian team's disappointing performance. They were fourth in this junior team competition. You rarely expect the Russians to finish off the medal podium. So probably a little extra pressure on her today to try to win an all-around medal. And here she is ready for her dismount. A double back. Very well done. Just a little step for the landing. You're right, Nadia, though. She really is fighting for every tenth of a point. There's Arkayev, the head coach. How nice the slips are. Very correct and high. And look at this Shushunova with quarter turn. She is going to repeat this one more time in this exercise. Such clean style and good presentation. 9.712 is her score over there on the beam. As we turn our attention now to the floor exercise, Olga Rashupkina, the leader after two rotations. She had a 9.537 in the preliminaries on this event, so she has the potential for a good score here. She has a similar coaching situation as Kovalyova. Her personal coach, Viktor Lutayenko, has done a great job with her, but is now releasing her more and more to the National Training Center and Oleg Ostapenko, who has created so many champions in the past. Wow, she earned five tens bonus here on this pass. <laughs> There was another difficult attempt. Boy, Nadia, talk about her having it all. She has the power for the tumbling. She has the expressiveness and the technique in her dance. Enormous potential this young lady has. And the variety. All in the same bag. Her fourth tumbling pass in this routine. Nice pipe double back somersault. Good finish. No problem. Let's take a look at the good example of her power. This is a very difficult one and a half twist into a double pike. 
She knows exactly where she is. What about this jump sequence here? She jumps to a complete split. She gets all the way around. That's what the judges are looking for. And yet she still has enough energy at the end of the exercise to finish with a powerful tumbling run. And this is a double pike. She knows exactly where she is. No problem. Score a 9.637 for Rishupkina on the floor. This is 15-year-old Yana Kamerskova from the Czech Republic. She had a lousy competition in the prelims, took only 21st place in the all-around. But she's doing a good job today, and this is one of her best events, the uneven bars. And I'm really happy I have a chance to see gymnasts from places that we haven't heard in a long time. And she's taller than all the gymnasts that compete here today. She's 5'3". She takes this as her advantage. She's got nice form, very high. Reminds you in a way of Svetlana Horkina, who's five feet four, and she uses that height to her advantage as well on the uneven bars. And she had the form break there. Another one there. Mm -hmm. And nice dismount. Double front somersault out of that inverted giant position. Very well done. I really like her form, although she has a couple of breaks. Look how high she goes here. Very well done. This transition could be done better. Then the dismount is interesting because she's going to do the double front somersault, but she has her arms twisted in the inverted giant swing position that makes it more difficult. Very high and well done. Good job for the gymnast from the Czech Republic. 9.575, her score. More than 30 years ago, European all-around champion Vera Chozlaska. She won in 1965 and 67. She went on to win 13 Olympic medals. In fact, the most individual gold medals for a woman in Olympic history with seven. Ekaterina Zabo, two-time junior European champion in 1980 and 1982. Went on in the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles and won four gold medals for Romania. And now the new generation from Romania. This is 13-year-old Andrea Isadescu. And this is a great event for her. She's a really good tumbler and a really good dancer. She's in second place after the first two rotations. Very nice time. Great triple twist mount. No problem. This is the young lady, Nadia, that you mentioned, trained at the Nadia Komenit School in Onest, Romania. Now she is living in Deva, Romania, at the National Center and working out with the senior national team. And she seems very confident. That's her second pass. Two and a half punch front, very well done. If she scores more than a 9.75, she can take the lead in this competition. Once again, you notice very few people on the stands. The Russian economy is struggling here, and I think it's very difficult for the locals to justify spending money on tickets to a gymnastics competition when it's so difficult in everyday life here. <laughs> and the music was not there. <laughs> Great tumbling, and all of her dance elements were quite well done. And I'm really, really happy uh, for her uh, choreography. Uh, this was done in Onest uh, by... Uh, the choreographer Valer Puya, although now she moved to Deva and uh, their choreographer of the national team is uh, Corina Moroshan. She did a very good job. And more expressive than many of the Romanians that you see. Now over to Andrea Raducan on the balance beam. This is one of her best events. 
It's interesting to note that she is such a powerhouse. Generally, athletes that are so springy tend to spring right off the balance beam. And watch for this move that she's going to do now. A back and spring into the fall. Nicely wow. done. You have to be a little crazy to do this move. <laughs> The score, by the way, over on the floor for Isarescu, a 9.762. Another acrobatic sequence, a punch front, with jump. As you said, the gymnasts have to go down. These are required moves that everybody has to do. She scored a 9.475 in the prelims. She has the potential here. And here, she is ready for her dismount. Into a double pike. That's a difficult dismount. She made it very well. This is this crazy move. <laughs> no problem. The back handspring to a full was invented more than 15 years ago, but you see it very rarely in competition. It's so tough to land. And so is this. The double pike is very hard to land. Quickly now, we move over to the uneven bars. Esther Moya, she's in fourth place after the second rotation. We saw her terrific vault. This is not her best event, however. It was her lower score in the preliminary, so... Ooh! Whoa. <laughs> Good save there. Yeah, she had a little trouble there. The score over on the balance beam for Radokana, 9.625. Although her technique is rather clean, she doesn't show any originality in this routine. And here's the dismount, double front with half twist. Very well done. Let's take a look at this sequence here. This is the release move, what they call a reverse hect on the high bar. And it was very high and nice done. And this is the connection where she uh, had just a little trouble. So the score for Moya, 9.15. Let's take a look at our standings. After three rotation, Isarescu moves into the lead, Rashupkin a second, Kovalyova from Russia in third. Known than the Hermitage, but equally impressive, the Russian Museum houses some of Russia's greatest works of art. We go back inside now to the sport of artistic gymnastics. This is Olga Rashupkina from Ukraine. We're in the fourth and final rotation she was in second place after three rotations. She'll do two vaults, and the scores will be averaged to go into her all-around score. And this is not her favorite event, although she does a very good vault. Pretty well done. And very difficult. The start value, only 9.60. So that means that the highest score that she can get here is 9.60. Nadia, the girl is only four feet, six and a half inches, so she's pretty tiny, pretty impressive to do a vault that well. And she gets that high from the horse. But her technique, it's really good. She can improve a lot. As you mentioned, at a disadvantage to someone like Kovalyova, who had a 9-9 nine, nine start value, this has a maximum of 9-6, so she's already three-tenths of a point behind. The score for that first vault, a 9-2-2-5. The same vault. And this was much better than the first vault. But she's still not going to be able to get more than 9.60. This was a little bit higher and better rotation. Even the landing was better. Let's watch her second vault. Very nice done. Judge was surprised. <laughs> Good power here for such a tiny little gymnast. Great technique on the pre-flight and good form. The score for that vault, 9.275, 9.25 her average. Now to the beam, Yana Kamerskova. 
who we mentioned earlier had a disaster in the prelims, but she's doing well today. She had a 9575 on the uneven bars, as we saw a few moments ago. And she feels confident on this event. Really nice combination. I really like that she uses some of the different elements, like this one, side aerial, for her combinations. Once again, you hear the music in the background. For you gymnastics fans, that's the music that American Shannon Miller used during the Olympic year. And she won her gold medal in Atlanta. Shannon's not here, but someone else is using her music over there on the floor. Nicely done punch front. I really like how she moves. As I said at the beginning, she's taller than all the other gymnasts competing here today. She's using that as her advantage. She also reminds me of Svetlana Boginskaya, another great gymnast. Kamerskova scored only an 8.787 in the prelims. This routine is pretty clean. It could score a lot better than that today. Not a difficult dismount, but she did a really good routine. This young lady started gymnastics when she was four years old, which is pretty typical among most of these world-class gymnasts, beginning at such an early age. We quickly go now over to the uneven bars because we're going to see a performance here from Anastasia Kolesnikova that you're not going to believe. Watch this move coming up here from the inverted giant swings right here. She straddles and does what they call an endo. Nicely done. It's hard to believe that she's only 13 years old and she has so many difficult moves in her routine. What will she do when she will be 15? <laughs> On the other three events today, her scores have all been in the eights, so she won't place very high in the all-around competition. But she is a name and a face to remember because she has enormous potential with skills like those. And there, the dismount. Very nicely done. The score back over on the beam for Kamerskova, a 9-5-2-5. And from a potential future champion to a past Russian champion, Yelena Shushanova. She was the European all-around champ in 1985. That same year, she won the world all-around title. And then in 1988, she won the Olympic gold. Continues in the fourth and final rotation. The score on the bars for Kolesnikova, a 9-4. Here is Isarescu in the vault. Oh! Ooh, that was a scary landing. It seems that she was a little bit surprised. I think the ground came too fast. Yeah, that's scary when you land locked leg. You can have a serious injury to your knee or your ankle. This is what they call the Phelps vault. It has a 9-8 start value. Oh. Yeah, it seems that she was a little surprised, or it, she wanted to stick the landing. Let's watch it one more time. Oh, even her head kind of snapped back on that. 9.275 the score. She needs to average more than a 9.237 to go into the lead. So she needs more than a 9.2 on this vault coming up here to go into first place. Oh. Ah, she really overdid this vault. I'm not sure what her coach told her, but probably it was just bend your knees when you land. <laughs> and she really did bend her knees. This was better. She pushed it out. But you're right, she was much more cautious on the landing and over-rotated. She was a little too pike on this vault. It's hard to get a good score. Well, she scores a 9.2, her average 9.237, which exactly ties her for first place with Olga Roshukina of Ukraine. One more Romanian with a chance to make it on the medal stand. This is Andrea Radukan in one of her best events. This is where she can show her power, the floor. And she opens with a two and a half punch front. Very nicely done. Her highest score of the meet in the preliminaries was on this event, 9.537 on the floor. She really enjoys 
what she's doing. That's a great music for her. The same choreographer, Valer Puya, did her routine. Nice power. She earns three tenths of a point bonus for that sequence there. Here's her final tumbling run. It should be a triple twist. Wow, and what a triple twist. What a finish. Powerful tumbling, very expressive dance, Nadia. I'm not surprised, Bart. I know she's compete with that uh, triple twist uh, when she was 10 years old. Take a look at the power in this opening tumbling run. She's really tumbling very crooked and yet she has enough strength to kind of muscle it and to finish it in a straight line. The Romanians have been criticized for having that not so expressive dance, and I'm really happy that this new generation is coming with something new and proves otherwise. And what's great about that is she can follow it up with explosive tumbling like this whip back somersault right into a pike double back and she nails it easily. 9.762 her score. We'll come back with the final performers in the last rotation. Can Anna Kovalyova win it all on the floor? Final performers in the fourth rotation here at the Junior European Championships. 13-year-old Esther Moya from Spain, currently in fourth place after three rotations. She's very powerful with her tumbling passes on this event. Pretty smartly designed routine. She uses a lot of elements that get her bonus points from the code of points. Oh. Whoa! Good fight there. She doesn't feel quite comfortable on that uh, balance beam. I mean, she's trying to fight to get these jumps. <laughs> to get her bonuses. That's another example here. Yep, she needs to get around. This is the punch front. She feels comfortable with her tumbling because she's so powerful. Just a little sloppy in her execution, but she did get a 9-4 in the preliminaries. It was her highest scoring event. And here she gets ready for her dismount. Oh, that's a two and a half twist. Very well done. We'll see if she can finish on the podium today. A lot of the best gymnasts in the world. And this young lady now, Anna Kovalyova from Russia, has a chance to win it all on one of her best events, the floor exercise. And watch for this first pass. Very unusual. Two and a half twist. Punch front in a layout position. Nice. Not a very big crowd here, but nearly everyone applauding in unison for Anna Kovalyova. Many of her friends and family made the short drive from her hometown of Novgorod to be here to cheer her on. And no problem with this double pike. Really fighting for those landings. a gymnast who has it all. She has the dance, she has the choreography, she has the power. Her last tumbling run coming up here. It's a triple twist. Oh, she didn't get quite around, but who cares? 
And the music was not there either. <laughs> Her friends and family love it. They think she got the gold medal. Leonid Arkayev, the head of the Russian Federation, thinks she won it. Could be some redemption for the Russian team. They were a disappointing fourth place in the team competition. This could be the gold medal they've been waiting for. This is her first pass, a two and a half twist punch front layout position. Wonderful done. This is the triple twist. She didn't quite get around, but what a nice cover she made. And you can see she's fighting for every tenth of a point, trying to finish every move precisely. She misses it a little bit at the end of this routine, but I don't think it's gonna matter. And she gets it. 9.787, the highest score of the meet. Anna Kovalyova is the junior European all-around champion. Let's take a look at the final standings. Isarescu and Rashupkin a tie for the silver. Radukan Moya and Kamerskova round out the top six. Names and faces to remember as we look ahead to the 2000 Olympics. Congratulations there from current world all-around champion Svetlana Horkina. Six of the nine previous junior European champions have gone on to win Olympic medals. Thanks for watching. For Nadia Komenich, I'm Bart Connor. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.